It is currently Sunday evening here in Taiwan. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Typhoon Chansu still pulling away from the northern coast of Taiwan, away from Taipei. And boy, a uh, very close call out here. This storm just kind of threaded the needle as it pushed off here towards the north. In fact, just take a look at this. Uh, this is microwave imagery. You can get an idea of what I'm talking about as we peer through the upper level clouds. You can see that defined low level circulation where that inner eye wall was right there. That's where those winds up and over 200 kilometers per hour were. And it does look like the core of those winds stayed offshore. Plus, the fact that this didn't make landfall really means that, uh, you know, we did see some decent rain totals. I, I will say that. But uh, the rain totals weren't as high as I personally expected. We had into uh, Yilan County, that is in northeastern Taiwan, 226 millimeters. Uh, southeastern Taiwan, Taitong, uh, upwards of 226 millimeters as well over the course of the last 72 hours. So, you know, plenty of rainfall to say the least but not uh, the amounts that we've seen with previous storm systems. By the way, this is out of the Batanas Islands in northern Philippines. I do just want to quickly share this. We're getting some new photos. The buildings there, you can see a lot of the buildings in, in this image. They're, they're built out of stone. They're built out of rock. They're built to withstand these storms, but the infrastructure around it does take some damage. You know, the trees are going to be snapped. Power outages are going to be reported, and that's really what we've seen here across the Batanas Islands when this moved overhead as a super typhoon at that time but now our storm system is tracking off here towards the north and is continuing to pull away from taiwan as we look ahead watch this winds are going to be still at about 150 160 kilometers per hour as it approaches shanghai and it starts to slow down that is because there's a high pressure area out here in northeastern china it's going to kind of buffer this and really kind of keep this in place for a bit of time before it lingers and then starts to turn towards the east. Eventually could bring some rainfall out towards Kyushu and into South Korea. That is including over towards Busan uh, as we go ahead through Thursday and into Friday. Last place in East for rainfall, by the way, is Kyushu. Uh, I really feel for them out here if this storm system does decide to track off in that direction. But this is just kind of a closer look. Lex from Westpac Weather here. Uh, he makes a lot of these great graphics. Uh, you know, here's a look at kind of the time frame, the 13th, the 14th, into the 15th. Uh, it is just taking its sweet time there, uh, just off the coast of Shanghai. And the problem with that, naturally, like I said, it's going to be the rainfall. Let's take a look at the forecast as we go ahead through today and into tomorrow. The storm system just lingers there right over the metro area. <sighs> just sits. Uh, you know, last time Shanghai actually got directly hit by Typhoon was back in 1985. The city was a vastly, vastly different metropolitan area than the population has exploded in the last decade and a half. Uh, so the infrastructure for sure is going to be tested with this storm system, to say the least. I, I really hope that they do get through it. I hope that we don't see any significant flooding. But uh, yeah, the infrastructure and that threat of urban flooding for sure is going to be tested uh, with this storm. By the way, I mean, just take a look at rainfall. Um, still across the, the west coast of the Philippines, we continue to see inflow through Monday and into Tuesday for Region 1. I want to quickly mention that. But for Shanghai, obviously heavy rain Monday into Tuesday even over towards Wednesday as well, it is going to continue to linger. If you're out here across the southern Japanese islands too, uh, a few people have been asking me about the waves. Uh, through our Sunday, through Monday and into Tuesday, we're still going to see those large swells kick up, especially since this guy is going to be kicking there. So if you're on the northwest coast of Okinawa, maybe you're going to head out to like American Town, uh, Naha area, watch out for that surf. There's going to be some dangerous rip currents with it, and a lot of people like to take photos and stuff like that, but I want to make sure everybody is staying safe as well so that's that's definitely very very important all right anyways yeah that's all for today guys i hope you um find these updates useful it's been a busy week over the past week but uh yeah our storm system still ongoing uh still there i mean it is starting to get wrapped up with that convection towards the south and east of it but uh you know it's it's still definitely there actually i want to quickly pull back the picture real quick and this is just uh you know uh, what we're also watching still that inflow across the Philippines you can see right there but let's pull it back because a lot of people have been asking me about this I am obviously keeping an eye on this right here another invest area towards the um, east of uh, 
of a Palau west of Guam. It's definitely out there. Models aren't really grabbing onto it all too much, but you know, <laughs> what we've seen with Jolina, remember, that just blew up really quick towards the east of the Philippines. And uh, this, I'm not saying this is a happen, I'm just saying, you know, we gotta keep an eye on stuff like this. Anyways, that's all for today. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Big thanks to everybody on Patreon who makes these updates possible. I can't thank you enough. Uh, you are, you're my heroes. And if you guys wanna help me out with this, check out the links down below. Um, really appreciate it anyways let me know too if you watched the update all the way through this was kind of a eh, medium to long one i'm not sure if people are watching all the way to the end so uh yeah you just give me a shout i'd really appreciate it stay safe out there though